Central Virginia. I'm just going to do a quick little video today. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with my Brussels sprouts. True confession, I have never grown Brussels sprouts before successfully. Um, I'm hoping that this year will be different. Uh, what are a couple of things that I did this year differently? Well, I started with plants that were bigger and I planted them earlier. I actually um, started with plants that were about uh, six inches tall and I planted them in the bed after my uh, sauce patch tomatoes were being pulled out were done. And that was in, um, I guess, mid-August. I probably could have planted them a little bit earlier, but that's when my tomatoes were done and that's where I had space. So um, I amended the bed with compost. I threw a little bit of organic granular fertilizer down and I mulched with hay. So I'll show you where we are. This is now the um, end of the first week. Actually, I think we're in the technically week and a half of November. And I'll show you where my Brussels sprouts are and what I'm gonna do with them today. Because of our intense um, insect pressures, particularly the white uh, butterfly that lays the uh, cabbage moth and the cabbage loopers, I have grown my Brussels sprouts under cover. I actually planted four plants and it looks like three of them are doing pretty well, well under the hood, so to speak. So here are the Brussels sprouts. Um, and I'm just gonna go under here with them. It's a little hard to really get a beat on these. Now we had a huge frost that was very sudden. It went from 84 degrees to 24 degrees um, in a matter of a few hours, which is kind of crazy. Um, and some of the plant leaves got a little bit damaged, like this one. This happened to actually a lot of my brassicas. I was surprised that some of them suffered in the frost, but they did. So this particular plant, I have one on the end there. It's kind of short. This one is the healthiest and this one is coming along well as well. Now this one, if you look at the bottom, we have Brussels sprouts forming, which I figure for me, this is a first, so this is good news. About three days ago, I came along and I trimmed off a lot of the lower leaves, and I'm gonna take off a couple more of these that really want to come off. And my hope is, I'm just gonna snap them right off, that that's gonna let the plant put more energy into growing the sprouts as opposed to growing the leaves. Um, I'm going to take off this one and I think I'm going to go ahead and take off this one as well. That leaves the plant several leaves up on top to keep uh, the, the plant being able to produce what it needs to produce. And let's see, I'm actually going to take this one off too. Notice how easily they snap off. I'm going to snap them off right there. So that's going to give these brussels more space to develop. So I'm happy with what I'm seeing here. They're not as big as I'd like them yet, but um, there's still time for them to develop. So this particular one right here has really done very little. And I'm wondering whether I should just pull that whole plant all together since it's really not doing much. This one, however, has sprouts forming. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off the lower leaves, I'll snap them right off. They want to come off easy, so um, I think that's a sign that it's time to, to let them off. I'm excited to be able to grow Brussels sprouts. I'm really, really hoping that these do indeed um, develop more. Here I am under the tent. So why am I doing this again? I'm doing this to allow the plant to put more growth into producing the sprouts as opposed to production of the leaves. Leaves are important, obviously, for the health of the plant. It's how it goes through the photosynthesis process, but there are still plenty of leaves left on these plants. All right, so that's all there is to it. Now, here's the thing. I've got a lot of leaves here. Some of them are beaten up, and I'm gonna put, put those in the compost. Some of them are nice and leafy and green, so I'm gonna eat those. I did this the other day when I did the trimming, and they actually were quite good. I just sauteed them in uh, with some uh, olive oil and uh, salt and pepper and it was just and some garlic and really they were tasty so i don't like anything to go to waste well that's all i have today i hope you're well thanks so much for watching